everybody, now welcome again back to SciWire. Um, today, one thing I wanted to show you was uh, how to make a five gallon bucket into a, a hydroponic unit. Um, I'm going to have a few modifications at the end. I'm actually taking my old fogger and I'm going to add that on top of it. But uh, I'm going to save that for last. Um, first off, let me just start off by showing you uh, what we're going to need to, to get it started. Uh, let me give you an idea of what exactly we're building here. Um, this is going to be our final product. Uh, that motor is way overkill right there, but I uh, happen to have it left over from my fish tank, so I figured I might as well use it. Um, but this is going to go inside your five gallon bucket. Uh, it's to get a little closer here. You can see the sprayers that I've got on it. I've got two that are straight on each side and one that's a little offset to, to spread the water flow around a little bit. Um, one thing you'll see on this is that uh, extra extension right there. Um, that's going to be the water flow to my fogger. Um, I showed you how to build that in one of my other one of my other videos, but uh, you can look that up. Um, this extension here, it doesn't have to be done this way. It's just what I happen to have stuck around, so I figured I might as well use what I had uh, rather than wasting gas and going to the store. Um, yes, this is a 1100. I got the box for it right here. Uh, the motor is an 1100 Rio. That's way 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 overkill. You can go about half that for a system like this. Um, but like I said, I just happen to have it, and when I get something in my mind, I, I tend to just go ahead and build it. All right, uh, in order to finish this up or to start this up, um, first thing you're going to need is some end caps, just a couple of them, to go right on the end to cap off the water to, to help it have a little bit of pressure in there. Um, a T-joint to separate it out. Push a bunch of elbow joints. A little bit of PVC. Um, one thing you are going to need is also an air pump. Uh, inside the five gallon bucket uh, there's not a lot of water flow in there except for when the sprayers are on so you want to keep that nutrient uh, you know moving at all times plus it helps aerate it and push the moisture from the bottom of the pot up to the up through the roots so it's uh, definitely important to have your little bubbler it doesn't matter if it's a long one or a short one down at the bottom of your basin and that runs 24 hours well, let's see here only other thing you're going to need if you decide to take it the extra step which is to go for the fogging unit is uh, a little bit of rope, a joiner, and that's basically what I drilled a little hole in right there. Just glued that in there, and that will allow me to attach the hose straight from there. I'll drill a hole in the top side of my my five gallon bucket, and I'll just set this right up on top of it, and it'll go right in the feed tube for the for the fogger. Now if you guys watch my other videos you know what this is. If not, uh, click one of these buttons over here and, and uh, it'll show you. Um, one last thing you're going to need, very important, is this. Uh, this fits right up on top of your five gallon bucket and creates a nice seal. Uh, it has a netting on the bottom to where you can use any kind of uh, media that you like. In this case I'm going to be using what's called hydrotin. Well, that's one of the harder pieces to find is the, the cap for the, the five gallon bucket. Um, one place you can find it is actually right up here. Just click the link, it'll take you right to it. Um, but uh, once you get that piece, you've you pretty much found everything else. Uh, you can get the rest of the stuff all at Home Depot, Lowe's, the pump you might have to order if you want it for a decent price. Um, but now that you, you've seen all the tools, you can probably get this thing made. The only tools you really need in order to be able to do it is the drill. And of course, uh, about three different sized drill bits. Um, what that's for is to drill the holes for this, for your sprinklers. And that is one thing I forgot to show you. Um, what those are are just little uh, low pressure sprinklers, very small. You drill little holes in there, and they'll basically screw right in. The only one I had to glue in was uh, was the one for the the fogger unit. All right, let's get started. One thing I did do, since I don't, didn't want to put too many holes in my in my lid, I want to try to keep that as holeless as possible, is uh, I created a little niche right here on the side. Um, I'm actually going to bring that down a little bit further because I'm going to fit three hoses through there. Uh, to do that, you just take your drill, you get a big enough bit, you turn it sideways, and then hold it and it'll go right down in there. And what that will allow for is when you get your unit set in there right, simply take the cord and it'll slide right down in there. 
And then of course when you got your your bubbler, which will just drop down the bottom, make sure it's at the bottom. That way it'll keep the airflow going, the water flow. That'll slide right in there also. And I still have a little bit of space left over. Uh, what that extra space is left over for is for my my fogger unit, which is going to feed right in through here. You can see that comes right to the top. It'll feed right in through here and that will attach right there. Just to, just to drop water inside of my fogger unit to where it doesn't burn out. Um, with all that on, and you can see what's going to end up happening in here is the, uh, the pot is going to slide right in between these two tubes and it's just going to keep it nice and humid in there. Let's put that on. The measurements are pretty easy. Now, I'm not going to snap on because I don't want to have to worry about peeling it back off. But that's all it's really going to look like. All the cords come out of the side. Of course, you tuck that side against the wall. And that's it. Um, that's it, man. That's, that'll, that'll run your unit very nice. Now, if you want to go the extra step, which I'm going to do, I'm probably not going to film because it'll take a little bit too long. But I'm going to put uh, a half-inch hole, or a little bit longer than that, to fit a PVC through here. And it'll allow me to attach my fogger unit right on the side of it so I can fog out the inside of the uh, the five gallon bucket. All right now that we've got that all finished up um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and rescue one of my plants. Uh, in one of my other videos I'm going to show you uh, what happens when your motor burns out and you're out of town for a couple of days uh, and how to, how to actually come back from that but uh, it's pretty drastic I'll show you that in another video. Uh, but for right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up taking some hydrotin. I'm going to save one of my most important plants and I'm going to stick inside this single unit to where it's a lot more maneuverable. I can put it outside, put it inside, do whatever I want to do with it. Um, let's get started. Alright, this is uh, hydrotin. Uh, basically it's just an expanded clay. But if you get real close, it's uh, you can almost see inside of it. But stupid camera would focus. <laughs> but uh, uh, what it is, is very light and the, the water actually soaks into it very nice. So it holds with very nice humidity and allows the roots to be able to grow around it. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it out. Uh, you want to wash it out two or three times. Just go ahead and dump it in there, swirl it around, wash them out really good, and uh, make sure you're not collecting any of the, any of the color. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Um, I'm going to dump this in here now. Right, uh, these are pretty much done. The water is decently clear now. Um, what some people do, and I'd probably recommend, is if you've got a little bit of time, um, it's good to put a little bit of nutrients in with the water. That way when the hydrogen starts soaking it all up, uh, you actually have a little bit of nutrients within the, the hydrogen. Um, you don't have to, but if you got time, which I don't this time, a little too anxious as usual. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right in and let it soak up when it's. Well, this is the plant we're going to be transferring today. It's a uh, it's a butt joluca. I'm sure I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but it's the hottest hot pepper in the world. Uh, has the Guinness Book of World Record. I had to order that seed directly from China. Water, you're going to want to fill the water up basically to where it's touching the bottom of the basket as long as it's in the vegetative growth stage. When you see a few roots starting to go down there, you know, it, the water will go up and down, but you don't have to worry about it too much after it's, it's got its root base set up in there. All right, great. Well, it's working perfect. Let's get the plant in there. And there's the plant right there. As you can see, the roots that are coming off of it, um, just barely at a seedling stage. Pretty much as soon as those hit the water, it, this thing's going to absolutely explode. So I'm going to wind this around here, in here and, and add it on. Buddy. That's that. Uh, it's pretty much done from this point. Just put it right in the hydrogen, right up to the other cup. Matter of fact, you can't even see it. It looks like it's going to transfer pretty well. Only lost one leaf in the process. Uh, give this guy some actual real sun. See what it can produce. Uh, hopefully some real hot peppers. Uh, if this has been helpful to you at all, uh, guys, I do this all for free, but I sure wouldn't mind if you click some of these uh, links right over here by Google. I forgot to show you what it's going to look like once I end up sticking the uh, the fogger unit from my other machine on here, the one that uh, the one that I upgraded from. Uh, it's just a single node fogger. I just drilled a enough size, perfect size, for a PVC hole to slip right through the lid, and it just has an angle on the inside. It's basically going to shoot uh, shoot fog all around the inside. If you want to see how to, to to make one of these, just click one of the links down here or over here. And it'll take you right to how I made those. All right, everybody. Um, good luck. Hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe.